Hi there everyone, uh, today I'm going to be showing you the graphic user interface for the MF286, it's a ZTE device. Um, I'll be doing a video on the physical attributes of the device as well, so um, please have a look at that. Uh, it should be uploaded with this video. Um, I'll probably link it in the description so that you can see uh, what it looks like. Alright, so I'm going to be going through the graphic user interface. So as with all these devices, um, you either plug in your Ethernet connection or use a Wi-Fi connection to connect to the device. As soon as you've connected, you should be issued an IP address because it, it's got a built-in DHCP server. And then um, what you'll have to do is browse to the, uh, to the IP address here. This is the default IP address. As soon as you enter the default IP address, it'll take you to this logon screen. The default password is admin. A D M I N, and this is the page that you'll be seeing, uh, you'll be greeted with. So, first off, uh, there's quite a, a bit of information here on this splash screen. Um, you've got your devices here that are connected, um, your router, what carrier you're using, uh, you've got some Wi Fi settings here, and then some, some net surfing information, your duration, and your upload and, and download speeds. Okay. Right down here, you've got some statistics. Uh, you can just click on some links here and see if you can do some data management. Uh, you've got your information here pertaining to the connection, your SIM card number, your IMEI number, your MZ number. Um, there's some detailed information on your connection. Here is your IP address locally. This is your WAN IP address and then the software version and all the rest of it. It's good information to have when you're doing some troubleshooting or just uh, just good information to have all around. All right. Um, down here, you've got parental control settings, SMS, you've got a phone book, you've got advanced settings, and you can do USSD from this device, which is quite handy, especially in our market. It's, uh, it's pretty good to have. So I'm going to click here on parental controls. Here you can do online time settings and you can do a website whitelist, uh, which is quite nice. Um, you can manage devices, which is great. Um, you can also set the times, allowed and not allowed. You can do an internet whitelist and uh, just whitelist certain uh, web addresses that uh, would be able to be ac accessed. Right. Back to SMS, this is straightforward. It's just basic SMS. Um, this is the uh, SMS is saved on the device and SMS is saved on uh, the SIM card. It's really, really simple. Enter the number here, enter the uh, the message here, and click send. It's really uh, straightforward. All right. You want a phone book? Same as, same as. It's a, it's a phone book, right? You enter some. Uh, numbers and names, and uh, it'll save it in the phone book. All right. Advanced settings. Now, this is uh, where m m some of the more advanced things you can set with a router. I'm going to be going through these uh, one by one, so just uh, bear with me. Uh, Wi-Fi coverage. You can do short Wi-Fi coverage, medium Wi-Fi coverage, and long Wi-Fi coverage. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I wouldn't mess with these settings too much. Um, your your device would be plugged in to power most of the time. <clears throat> it does have a battery in it. If you've gone through the video of looking at the physical attributes of the device, you'll notice that there is a battery in it. Up here in the top right hand corner, you can see the battery level. Um, this is basically just set when um, your device is on battery. <clears throat> It'll save power, but normally just leave it on long if it's plugged into the wall. Otherwise, if you do want to do some power uh, management you can set it to short but this is going to decrease your Wi-Fi coverage okay click on the router here this is basically just settings for the DHCP server you can enable or disable the DHCP server if you want to do do static IP addressing on your local network you could do that um, I suggest leaving this uh, this on because it's quite helpful to have the router uh, give out IP addresses um, Managing IP addresses on your local IP uh, on your local uh, network uh, is is work that you 
wouldn't have to do normally. You can still set your devices to have static IP addresses. Um, if you do enter a, stati a static IP address into, into one of the devices connected to the local area network, it's fine. It'll work. It's not like it's going to work. As long as it's in the same subnet, you'll be fine. Okay, here's some firewall settings. You can do port filtering. Um, you can do port forwarding, which is quite nice. Um, I've used it before. URL filtering, great, great uh, little piece of um, security software there. Uh, you can do system security, so you can enable uh, your remote management via WAN, or, and you can enable and disable your pings from WAN. Okay. You have a UPnP server here. You can enable or disable it. And then you've got your, your DMZ, uh, which is quite, uh, quite nice. And you enable or disable this as you see fit. I'm going through these settings because um, I just wanted to show you where where the settings are uh, within the graphic user interface. So you can just follow these steps through. I'm not covering what these uh, features are and how they work. Uh, that I'll do in a separate video. Here you can do an update so you can check for a new version. Um, I'm not 100% sure if there will be uh, over the air updates for this device. Uh, that will probably just come in the future. Uh, would, uh, that's something that is uh, still not um, confirmed as of yet. Uh, you can then uh, auto check for new versions, yes or no. And then you can check every 15 days. And there's the list of how many times uh, you want to check within a month. And then there are other settings here. You can do pin management. <coughs> You can do simple network transfer uh, protocols and you can do dynamic DNS. Here's a list of the dynamic DNS providers. This does work with no IP. <clears throat> Here's my no IP stuff um, for testing and uh, it actually does work pretty good. Okay. And that basically is the graphic user interface of this device. <clears throat> uh, it's really basic, just a, a basic run through of what the device uh, looks like. Uh, I haven't gone into the detail of any of the settings, uh, but uh, I may go and make a video of those uh, later on. All right, guys, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy. Cheers.